The next two days is not about politics or about politicians. The next two days are about the people of South Africa. And the outcomes of the next two days of discussions need to be judged based on whether they provide concrete solutions to improve the lives of South African people. If they speak to one of the unemployed South Africans in South Africa, if they speak to the mother who's sitting around a kitchen table wondering how to feed her family, to the business owners and people who've lost their jobs because of load shedding. For that to be the case, this cannot and must not be a purely anti-ANC project. It has to be a pro-South Africa project. And tomorrow when this process is, this part of the process is complete, please judge the politicians sitting at this table today on whether the outcomes promise greater hope and tangible improvements for your life and for your future. Ask whether they are collectively providing solutions to things like crime, unemployment, load shedding. If the answer is yes, if these parties emerge with an agreement to not only defeat the ANC, but to rescue South Africa, then I ask that you judge it as a success. Because our country does not have a second to waste. The next election in South Africa will be a hinge of history moment for our country. So now it is time for leaders gathered here today to put aside differences of the past, to forget about the scars of battles gone, and focus firmly on the future. The DA is irrevocably committed to this project. It is something I publicly committed our party to at our federal congress in April. To all my fellow leaders at the table, I want to say a very big thank you. Thank you for the maturity, for the compassion, and love for country that has been shown, and for how far we have already come. Many people thought that we would never even be able to get to this point, sitting around a table to find common solutions. Yet, here we are. But our biggest test now lies before us. Over the next two days, we will no doubt have honest and very robust discussions. But I know that they will be based on the passion we all share for this beautiful country and for all the people who call her home. The people gathered here at this front table represent a broad spectrum of the South African people. Seated before you are people from Durban, Ntata, Hamanskral, Stilfontein, Ntuba Tuba, and Cape Town. Proud South Africans, all of us. And this is the outcome we seek. What we're doing here over the next two days will be for the people of South Africa. An agreement for the people of not only Durban, Ntata, Hamanskral, or Stilfontein, or Matuba Tuba and Cape Town, but for every town and city across our country. Judge the next two days on what the outcomes will be to the problems you face at home in your daily life. And I'll repeat what I've said before. This project cannot be owned by politicians. It must be owned by the people. If you're satisfied with the outcomes of our discussions, I ask that the people claim their ownership by going out to register to vote in massive numbers. There are 14 million South Africans who have not voted in the last two elections. There are 13 million South Africans who are not registered to vote. The moment for change has now arrived, and I pledge the DA's full support over the next two days and urge us all to seize this momentous opportunity with both hands. Thank you very much.